Before I get started, I have to admit something, a mistake that I made about 10 years ago. Now, back in 2006, when we were first starting to do conversion optimization, most companies, most CEOs, most marketers did not know what conversion optimization is, did not know what A-B or multivariate testing is. So, in our effort to convince them about the importance of conversion optimization, when they asked us where they should start, our answer was too simple. Start anywhere. It doesn't matter. Just get started. Now, after conducting hundreds of conversion optimization projects and thousands, if not even tens of thousands of AB and multivariate tests, I have to admit, we were wrong. You cannot throw someone in a foreign land and tell him, well, listen, there is a treasure here. Just go ahead and find it. It simply does not work. Now, moral of the story, you need a plan. You need to have a map to follow when conducting conversion optimization project. How do you create this plan? You start by taking a look at your analytics, determine which areas of, the, of your website are leaking visitors. Examine your data to determine the health of different sections of your website. Look at your homepage, look at your top conversion funnel and determine their health. Now, analytics programs are really great in tracking how a single page performs. And that's fine if you are looking at a home page. However, sometimes you need to evaluate the performance of a class of pages. What does that mean? If you're an e-commerce website, you need to understand the performance of your product pages or your category pages. If you are a B2B website, you might need to know the performance of your thought leadership articles as an example. If you are a blog, you need to understand the performance of your blog post pages and the performance of your category pages again. We are looking at the performance of a class of pages. Of course, you need to extract that data uh, from your analytics programs and you also need to benchmark it. Optimize.